In this video, we're gonna compare the SanDisk Professional Pro Blade Transport to the Crucial X10 Pro Portable SSD. Now, when you look at both of these, the first thing you're gonna notice is that the Crucial is way smaller than the Pro Blade. So this is gonna be a way better option if size and weight is the most important thing to you. Now, both of these are technically rated for USB 3.2 Gen 2 dual lane speeds. So in a perfect world, they could hit speeds all the way up to 2000 megabytes a second. But unfortunately, if you're using a Mac, they're both gonna top out at about 950 megabytes a second on the read and the write. Now, the interesting thing about the transport is the drive actually comes out of it. So you can buy multiple ProBoid magazines and you're able to quickly swap them in the ProBoid transport. And they also have a station that uses Thunderbolt instead. So you can use this on the go and then you can put the drive into the station to get faster Thunderbolt speeds of about 2,500 megabytes a second. So the transport's gonna be a really interesting option if you wanna build out a more modular system of drives. But if you look at the X10 Pro, you are gonna notice just how much smaller it is than the transport. So it's gonna be a lot easier to rig the X10 Pro up on an iPhone or a camera if you wanna use external SSD recording. Both of these are available in one, two, and four terabyte configurations, and they also both include a five-year warranty. Now, if you're comparing the drop ratings on these, technically the Pro Blade is better, but unfortunately the Pro Blade transport itself actually does not have a drop rating. The ProBlade magazine itself does have a drop rating of up to three meters, and it's also crush proof all the way up to 4,000 pounds of force, but there's no IP rating on this at all. Now on the X10 Pro, you do get an IP55 rating, but you only get a seven and a half foot drop rating on it. Whenever you compare the prices on these, the Crucial is always gonna come in significantly cheaper than the ProBlade Transport is. So you're gonna save a lot of money and size if you choose to buy the X10 Pro. So if you're trying to decide which of these you should buy, I would buy the X10 Pro if you want the smaller size, the weight, the savings, and the higher durability IP ratings on it. But I would buy the SanDisk Pro Boy Transport if you want the ability to swap the drives out and to build a modular setup later on. And if you're looking for something that does a little bit better when it heats up. If you have any questions about either of these drives, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. And I have links to buy both of these in the description below.